So I had a lesson at Urban Golf a few days ago, and I learned that my trajectory was much too high with my irons, and, uh, and that I wasn't getting my weight into my right heel fully on my backswing, and that I was pushing out of my front leg, and my weight distribution through impact was reversing. So those are some pretty big problems, but it's very, very awesome that I learned it. I had the data to prove it. But knowing that, I went out to the range tonight, and I think I made the biggest breakthrough of my career. I may have actually learned how to use my lower body and drive through the ball with my hips. Finally, the ball was sizzling, Trevino style. I really, really uh, can't wait to get out there tomorrow. But as far as I'm concerned, tonight, was as big a breakthrough as I've had during my entire swing evolution. So thank you, Urban Golf, for pointing me in the right direction. So when I went down to uh, Urban Golf Performance, one of the things that I learned that I'm so excited to work on is that I wasn't getting my weight fully into my right heel on my backswing, and that's why my rear end isn't staying back, and I have the little goat humping move. So I, I realized, even though intellectually I knew what I'm supposed to do, it was never shown to me specifically with data to prove that I wasn't doing it enough. So again, this is like what Greg McHatton said, you know, do more of everything you're doing. Uh, so I'm, I'm really trying to sit into that hip and get down and drive through the ball with my hips and also lay the shaft off more. Uh, I'm putting a little more of a loop into my swing, but I'm hitting the ball with a lot more smack. Like I can feel a big difference. I was excited when Ben told me that my club head speed uh, with a six iron was just two miles an hour slower than the tour average. So I had the ability to do it, but my launch angle was about six degrees too high, meaning I'm giving up like 15 yards of distance on my irons. And I can see this, I know that that's the case. So I'm working on flighting the ball down a little bit and really getting onto the back of the ball, like, you know, driving it into the ground and trying to take a little loft off of it. <laughs> 